Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Gazing up at the sky is something we do all the time. Just imagine a warm summer's day when we glance up at the sun and feel its rays on our face. At night, we can see stars sparkling. What a delight they can be. Oh, uh, let me remind you, a star is a giant ball of super hot gas held together by its own gravity. But have you ever really thought about what we see when we look at the sky? Why are some stars brighter than others? Why can we see the sun, which is a star, during the day, but not other stars? The universe is full of wonders and mysteries, and we're so lucky to be able to study them. Humans have been studying stars for thousands of years. Today I'm going to take you on a journey to explore some mighty discoveries about stars and our universe. Let's get in the shoes of astronomers and dive into space. The sun is an ever-present part of our world, the closest star to the Earth and the largest object in our solar system. More than a million Earths would fit inside the sun. Now that is huge. And because the sun is so big and so close to the Earth, it appears to be bigger and brighter than any other star in our solar system from our view here on Earth. And you may wonder why that is. Let me explain. Consider a street lamp. If you look down your road, a street lamp that's close to your house is going to appear to be shining brighter and looks bigger than one that is at the end of the street. But if you were to take a walk to the farther street light, well then you'd see that that is exactly the same brightness in size as the one close to your home. Well, it's the exact same concept with our sun. It appears bigger and brighter in our sky because of how close it is to our home planet. And although it's the closest star to us, it's still pretty far away. Over 91 million miles away. Now this distance is important, because in order for our planet to sustain life, we need to be within the sun's habitable zone. The sun's what? Habitable zone is an area around a star in our case the sun, that's approximately the right distance to support liquid water on the surface of a planet. Too close to the sun, and the heat from the star will cause the water to evaporate. Too far from the star, and all the water would be constantly frozen. And the size of the planet plays a role in this as well. If it's too large, portions of it could still be outside the habitable zone. Now, thankfully, Earth just happens to be in the correct size and in the habitable zone to the sun, making it perfect for sustaining life. Ooh, how incredible is our mighty Earth! Of course, there are more stars than just the sun in our sky, and some of them are pretty bright. Sirius is the brightest star in our sky. Sirius is bigger and hotter than the sun, but because it's many light years away, it appears to be smaller and dimmer. A light year is about 6 billion miles. Yeah, 6 billion. Rigel is another star that's one of the brightest in the night sky. It can be found on the constellation of Orion. This star is far brighter than Sirius, and it burns incredibly bright. But it's about 860 light years away from the Earth. And that's pretty far. Wow! Although brighter and larger, it appears smaller and dimmer to us here on Earth. Betelgeuse is a reddish star and another bright star in our night sky, and it's the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. This star is one of the largest stars that we've discovered. Like Rigel and Sirius, Betelgeuse is much larger than the Sun and much hotter. This star is about 642 light years away from Earth. So, once again, Although bigger and brighter, it appears to be smaller and dimmer from our view here on Earth. Now, to find these stars, we can use a tool called a planisphere. Sounds so cool, right? Well, let's take a look at how it works. This adjustable chart is used to display the location of stars at different times of the year. Using cardinal directions, this instrument displays what the night sky looks like at various times. Pretty cool. 
But astronomers use even more sophisticated tools to do their research. The Kepler telescope, named after the famous German astronomer Johannes Kepler, is one of those tools. It was launched into space back in 2009 with 42 camera sensors designed to examine stars. A flicker in a star's light could mean a planet orbiting the star and briefly blocking its light. The Kepler was actively researching while in orbit for almost 10 years. Whoa, how cool! In those 10 years, it observed and took images of more than half a million stars. And through those observations, the Kepler was also able to discover 2,600 planets. Scientists are still working through the thousands of pictures that were captured by this telescope. Who knows what else they'll discover thanks to the Kepler? It can be hard to wrap our minds around how vast space is. And thinking about all these stars that are hundreds of light years away, and about the fact that we can see them from right here on Earth is pretty incredible. Our Sun, although millions of miles away from the Earth, is by far the closest, and therefore appears to be the largest in our sky. Other stars are much larger, but they're also much further away, and so they're not really as visible. Thinking about these mighty stars sure is amazing, isn't it? 